Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to Brotato, the arena survival action roguelike itself. We are going to be checking out the final new character in the 1.0 release, the Golem. 20 max health, max HP modifications up by 33%, armor modifications up by 33%, 40% attack speed and 20% speed if you are under half health. However, you cannot heal in any way. So... This is a wild character here. No regeneration. Any damage we take is permanent damage. It feels like this is absolutely begging. 100% begging for spiky shield. Like, will we try it in another way in the future? Sure. But as a first playthrough, holy crap is this so clearly a good <laughs> shield character. I mean, we're going to want to go for armor. We're going to want to go for dodge. We're obviously going to want to go for health. If we can stack up a lot of health, we could maybe even, like, throw... Wait, hold on. Wait, what? When we level up, we get more health, but we don't heal that health? That's so strange. That is so strange. Do okay, when you can't heal in any way, is it saying... It's probably saying you can't heal in the middle of the wave. Right? Right? Uh, no shield there. Sharp bullet. I'm gonna say nah. Ugly tooth. It's not bad. Holy crap. I mean, hey, if we want to be absolutely crazy. Weird ghost is a great way to go about it. What a terrible shop that was. In the entire shop, we found one spiky shield. That's incredibly bad. Okay, so it's, it's permanent damage for the wave. That is more understandable... And I gotta admit, I'm not gonna say I'm disappointed, but I think that that'd be a fun character, right? Where you're, the damage is woo, literally kind of like, well, fun is a little bit of a <laughs> strong way of putting it, but I think it'd be a cool character. I really like the fact that I don't even for a second have to think about HP regen or lifesteal. There's something kind of freeing about that, right? Like, we never have to even have it enter our brain. So, that is going to afford us the ability to buy some aggressive stuff. Like, the thing is, armor is also an aggressive stat right now. So, we're going to be getting, obviously, as much armor as possible. Dodge is going to be really, really good. But, hell, I don't know. I feel like uh, we maybe played a modded character that was like this, but the damage was forever... Like, it lasted literally the whole run. I can't remember. Grab some attack speed. Range damage. Grab some health. Spiky shield. At this point, we'll go for the coffee. Uh, I mean, Alien Worm doesn't give us the HP regen, but we also don't care about the healing from food. So... So there's that. Doesn't matter too much, then. Okay, papa, 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 papa. Good deal. We're doing 16, 16 damage. Not incredible. But uh, we're working towards it. Shield upgrades very, very well. I kind of want to... I want to take a hit just for kicks and wiggles. We could try... Oh! You know what? <laughs> Sad Tomato's really interesting today. Not because it's good in any way, necessarily. Oh, come on. One more. Not because it's necessarily good in any way, but because it would put us at half health. Mm. It may round up, though, which would be bad. Strange. That's all I have to say. We got so many items in the shop that are completely useless, which, again, is kind of a buff to a character if you think about it. Like, if a character is given a lot of strengths and some of their downsides are you literally can't use this stat, this stat, this stat, and it's like a list of like three stats and like five passive items, it's kind of a really good thing, right? Because in a way it's saying we're making it so you have something very strong and the downside is that you never, you, you know, you never want to buy this item. Which is not that bad, because you're not spending that money. 
you know? I, I want armor, so no. I've got some luck. I just want to get something. Broken Mouth has no downside. Helmet, good. Uh, fertilizer, good. Well, there's a spiky shield, finally, for the lava. Whole mole. Okay. Speed is at minus 10. We're going to want to fix that. But again, if we go under half health, we get a huge speed boost and attack speed boost anyways. So I'm not so sure it's going to really matter too much. You know what? Should I get hit a bunch for science? Let's do it. Hit me for science. There we go. Okay. It's pretty satisfying. Now, do I want to go get, like, a sad tomato just so that I have this decision made for me by force every way? Probably not, I guess. Three armor, huge. Finally, we get the other spiky shield. Beanie, I'm going to grab it. Another spiky shield. Good job. But yeah, I think I think what I'll do, it's kind of weird. I'll just play really crazy until I'm at half health. Like, and if I get hit, I get hit. And when I'm at half health, I'll actually try and maybe dodge stuff. I think that that's what I'll do. Like, getting hit is getting hit. And it's kind of just fine. But under half, then we'll... Maybe we'll try a little bit more. I'm a crazy lad, and it does sound... It, it sounds kind of fun to get sad tomato today. Just, just to push limits in a very dumb way. Hey. Hey, bring me under half. Somebody bring me under half before I die. Thank you. Woo, boy. That's speed boost. Speed boost. Engineering. I mean, I, I'll grab some percentage damage mostly so I don't have to uh, roll again. That's nice. Crossbow. I'll get some pickup range. Sure. Hit me. Hit me. <laughs> Give me the half. Probably only need one bullet. There we go. Go wild! Just very unhinged way of doing it. A very dumb way of doing it. But it just sounds fun. It sounds funny. I'm not going to do it the whole time. But it's basically, yeah, get like a huge boost. Oh, well, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't do it. But it, it was fun. It was fun to do. And we definitely can't do the run through the middle meme strats at the end. Yeah. All right, fine. It's fine. We shouldn't take all of our health as a meme. Fine. Uh, Shady Potion is free. Some more speed. Call it there. I mean, we're doing some wild damage. How much armor we got? 18. Checks out. Oh no, a hit. I think that, yeah, the, the final piece of the kind of puzzle is just getting a bunch of dodge as well. Like, that is genuinely a good call. Funny enough, Adrenaline would be trash. Repose would be trash, too. We're not going to be getting any melee damage. In fact, I think the only melee damage we have is negative melee damage. Okay. Cut to the middle. Just kicks and wiggles. The longer the waves get the more impact it really is going to have. The whole don't take damage this wave kind of vibe. Okay. Cool, cool. Don't need. I'll take some speed. Armor. There's sad tomato. I mean, if, if I wanted, it's mine. <laughs> if I... If I want to just start my waves with my speed boost, it's mine. I don't know, dude. Fine. Probably 
didn't take that. I'm just trying to stack up some luck today. It sounds kind of nice. Bait. Bait why? To take no hits from that bait there, I'm going to say that's a hell yeah. It's a hell yeah for me. Doing some decent, like probably above average, question mark, damage for wave 10, maybe. At least for, for a character that is not uh, glass cannon. You know, we're, we're utilizing the defensive strength of this character in an offensive way. Like, we're picking this this weapon on purpose, you know. Because it lets us use that stat in our favor. Nullified. There's our one free hit gone. Alright, let's get dumb. Let's get dumb. Let's get the rest of the money. Let's get the rest of the money. Uh, crit chance. Great. The fact that I feel like I can get crit chance is nice. Uh, Six max HP for 130 bucks is genuinely what that is telling me. Um, and technically it's eight max HP. It's eight HP for 130. I'm just fine, sure. Sure, fine, sure. We got a boss. We got a new boss. Uh, new boss with permanent damage on my character is a feeling. That's a... Uh, huh. Kind of looks like as long as you're running in a direction, you're safe on that one. Oops. Like, you have to run in a straight line. Give me my speed boost. So I can kill this son of a gun. Give me my speed boost. I want to kill this man. Okay. Yeah, definitely a, a tricky guy. What do you call that man? I don't know why I just want to call him Alien, which doesn't really check out because literally everything is an alien. Orb. <laughs> I don't know. This is it, this is the fun time where, yes, the files have names for them. But... I mean, there's no reason not to take it. I'll fix my range. Uh, there is <laughs> blood donation. That is a quick way into hell. Uh, wait a minute. Crown could work. Uh, Bean Teacher's divine. Especially today, where we don't care about lifesteal. For some reason, what if... Nope. I was like, maybe torture, like, breaks the game in some way, and it just says, yeah, you know what, you do get to heal if it's from torture, because it has some weird gimmick, you know, it's kind of a weird gimmick item. Whoop. Cool, we actually got a dodge in there, too. 12% dodge. I would love a lot of vests, even though we do have uh, HP scaling. Yep. We also have the extra armor scaling. This is a nice character. It, it When you read it at first, when you see, like, you can't heal, it kind of comes across like a character that might pose a problem. But then, honestly, it's just a super god tank. And then when you're under half, you get, like, a free big batch of stats. Take another bait. Definitely more armor. Bean teacher. A second tardigrade, I guess. Duct tape, I guess. Was this another mini boss? No. Ooh. I'd like more crit. I'd like more dodge. I'd like more armor. I'd like more damage percentage. I just realized we have terrible attack speed. We basically aren't grabbing much of any. Hasn't really mattered. But 15 attack speed on wave 13 is so bad. It's so bad. That's the big thing that I'm missing. Like, I was like, why does my damage feel mediocre? My damage is fine. 
is just not happening enough times. Here, let's take some damage. Speed up our kill power. Like, if we get under half, we can actually turn into a bit of a kill... Kill... God, I don't know. There we go. Come on, you, 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 yes! Nice people standing still. Um, it's not bad. But it's just not how I like to play. I don't like to stand... Oh, oh, that's just a second one. There's just two of them. Some crits. Alien worm is free stats. Grab that. Repost is unfortunately terrible. Basically, do I want 10 speed? 10 speed for that price feels worth it to me. Let them range. Barricade, I can justify a bit more. Eh, I can really just... I can justify them both, truthfully. I just don't... I don't know. Standing still... I like to move around. I don't know. I, I'm the... I have to move my legs when I'm sitting still. I sit... I sit in a stupid way when I'm sitting still. You know what I mean? I sit when I'm sitting down or when I'm supposed to be sitting still. I always gotta move my legs. And it translates to Brotato. I just... I need to be pressing buttons. Give me something. Let me press a thing. Alright, is this wave gonna become a problem in the, the back half. I mean, we're going to get some speed up. We got 14 seconds left. We're about to enter crazy mode. Crazy mode helps us clear the map faster as well, too, so I don't think it's a problem. Ooh! Ooh, that health's going away fast, though. Eh. Maybe. Eh, eh, maybe it could have gone. <laughs> no. Another tardigrade. Is this character tagged for it or something? What is going on there? Trying to do some stutter, like stutter step damage here. Because this guy does a lot of damage if you let him. Like, as evidenced by that right there. Like, the mini boss waves are no joke. Because if you want to try and burst the boss, we need like one more hit to get our speed boost. There we go. If you want to burst the boss. You're going to have to kind of get in there. And if you get in there, you're probably going to be taking damage. And, it, like, it's a different play style than I have on the bosses normally. Because I'm like, yeah, let's risk every single thing I have to kill this boss. Because it doesn't really matter. Because they'll drop a box that heals me to full. So, yeah, the mini boss waves... My play style changes... Has to change completely. Um... Huh. A lot of health, but we do lose a crit chance. The HP region and lifesteal are useless. It's got buffed, but it got buffed into the HP and lifesteal area, which doesn't really help us, but I'll take it. Pick a friend. Sure. Ugly tooth. Honestly, yeah. 20% attack speed. Thank God. Dangerous bunny. Sunglasses are a bit weird today. But it actually... 99... Yeah, I think it I think it helps us out quite a bit. More metal plates. Doing 177 with our average hits there. 177, 117? Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a decent difference. I think the crit was worth it though. Like just seeing these critical hits are kinda kinda crazy with it. Yeah, I don't have enough attack speed to sand still kill. Technically, this is the optimal way to play when you have something like Barricade, which is just kind of why I don't like Barricade. Just try and get our uptime of our damage. Whoop, we're still gonna dodge. Okay, we can get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. Um, you know, we'll just take some dodge there. Sure, insanity, absolutely, we can make use of that. 
Spike shield I'm very happy with. Life steal for harvesting. Uh, lol. Glass cannon probably checks out. So this guy, uh, he looks like a... In my head, it's like crocodile, is what I would maybe say. What is this man? What is it? I, I don't... I don't know if I've seen this one yet. He's crazy. This guy's crazy, man. Have I seen that one before? This is a deranged crocodile. Alright, this should be a pretty decent standstill. We probably should have grabbed the... If I see another statue, I will take it. I'll take it. It's the day for it. Take a hit if we have to, to get under half so that we can uh, clear up the map a little bit quicker here. Come on. Somebody get me under half health, please. Thank you. Literally useless. Uh, I mean, I'll take it for the five dodge, I suppose. It's a little late for Scar. Sad. Fairy is like kind of a crazy item. I would go as far as to say my first impressions are that it's probably going to be a little busted. Eh. We're basically locking that whole shop anyways. I, I'm going to go as far as to say it may be the secret or not so secret uh, new best item. Not new best item, but best new item in the patch. We'll have to see some of the other stuff, but that, to me, is a kind of needed item to really boost HP regen. It does make HP regen even more strange, though, in the sense that, like, it's a good stat. It's a good stat. It can be. But you have to invest a lot in it. But now you could just get that item instead, and you're just like... Bada bing, bada boom, you sort of solved your HP regen for the run, like, if you play it right. I like it. It opens up some interesting shopping choices that you might not otherwise make, and I really, I love it whenever that happens, whenever you feel like you need to approach the shop differently. I feel like that's the best thing you can really expect. Vigilante, man. All right, I'm worth. I'm worth it. I'm worth. It's worth taking the armor downgrade to get um, community support. There, our attack speed is just so abysmal, and this is going to make a big difference. Yeah, we're at 86 attack speed. 25. I mean, we hey, we killed a bunch of stuff. It, it's just a. It's a really nice item. When you need attack speed the most, it gives you the most attack speed. It's just a great item. I'm gonna say like, yeah, the community support patch, whatever, I can't remember which patch introduced that, I'd say that that's probably the strongest item in there, and then I'd say that Tentacle was the strongest item in the patch that it was introduced. I'm going to assume that the Fairy is 1.0's version of those two items. You know, the new item that's just kind of a bit stronger than the other things, and it's probably fine. I think it's okay for there to be some items that are just, they're just a bit sillier than the others. I am wishing I had Sad Tomato now. Armor or health. My speed is already kind of low. Eighty range. I do love shackles are really good too. Excuse me? Chain gun legendary gun. Scales off of ranged damage and engineering. I mean it's the new it's the new weapon. I literally can't afford it if I sold everything, and also it has nothing to do with my build. It's cool to see it.
It's cool that I get to see it there. That's neat. Alright. Alright. Off I go then. Sutter stepping this boss is awkward. Thank you, Dodge. I'm trying to forcefully attack in their direction. We're not going to get the freebie heal after they're dead. The fact that I haven't taken damage... I mean, I know it's because the nullifies, the absurd amount of nullifies. But the thing is... I don't think we would have taken damage anyways. Just the, or, like, much damage anyways. Man. Technically hitless. Okay. That's a good item. Is it busted? Busted? I, I, no. It, it looks really strong today because this is the perfect character for this. I think that this is just a really, really good item. I'm going to probably end up using it a lot. But yeah, let's check. Um, Okay. Let's check the new unlocks. Yeah, fairy. I, it's it's got to be. I mean, Excalibur, like it's a weapon. It's not an item. Lure. Seems good. Fight stick. Yeah, so there's only... The only new items from unlocks are lure, stone skin, and fairy. Of which I would... I would wager... I would wager that fairy is going to be surprisingly good. To many. Stone skin is... It, it's very straightforward and strong, right? Like, it's such a clear... It's good. It's good, duh. Is kind of what I think when I look at it. Um, but yeah, I think the fairy is going to sneaky because I think people undervalue HP regen to an extent. Uh, and I think it gives you a stupid amount of it. <laughs> so alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today. We're going to go through and try and probably uh, check out a couple different characters with some of the new weapons that we've unlocked. And then we'll see what we'll do after that. Whether or not we do like modded, maybe we GMO some of the new characters with some things. Uh, maybe we check out... I don't, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. Let me know if you're interested in that. Let me know if, I don't know, do you want to see, now that we're in 1.0, after we check out all the new characters and the new weapons, do we do a fresh save file? Like, what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. What do we do next? What do you think? Check out the channel, though. Roguelikes and more every single day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.